Hey everyone, this tutorial is going to teach you how to use the U of T timetable website to create a schedule for the upcoming semester. To get to this website, just Google U of T fall 2021 timetable and click on the first link. When you search for a course, all the different parts of that course, lectures, tutorials, and practicals will show up. All courses have a lecture, but some may or may not have tutorials or practicals, so just make sure you enroll in all the different parts of that course. You can see what days and times each section is offered. Additional course information like prerequisites and breadth requirements can be found here. This year, courses are being delivered in person, online synchronous or asynchronous. At the moment, the room locations for in-person courses haven't been released, but make sure to check on this later either through this timetable website or through ACORN, as the room locations can affect how you plan your schedule. You want to make sure that if you have back-to-back -back classes, that there's enough time for you to travel between the buildings and make it to class on time. Some courses may be asynchronous, which means the lectures are pre-recorded and you can watch them anytime during the week. If a course is online synchronous, that means you'll log into Zoom or BB Collaborate at a specific time each week, and that time will be given here. So let's add some courses to our plan and see how our schedule looks. Chem 151 only offers one lecture section, so I'll go ahead and add that by clicking Add to Plan here. It shows up at the top here with the section code and the semester. Chem 151 is a year-long course, which is why it shows up in both fall and winter. Make sure to add a practical and a tutorial as well. So for Bio 120, you can see that these two lecture sections are being delivered in person, whereas this section is being delivered as asynchronous. Depending on what you want, you can choose which section you want to enroll in. Bio 120 also has a practical. And if I add this one on Friday, you can see that this practical and my Chem 151 lecture are highlighted in red, meaning that there's time conflict. So I'll remove this practical and choose a different one instead. Let's go ahead and add some more courses to this plan. One thing to keep in mind is that some sections of a course might be unavailable when it gets to your enrollment start time, and so it helps to see how many different lectures and practicals of a specific course you can attend without any time conflicts with another course. There are typically a lot of tutorial options available and many happen at the same time, so even if you don't get into one tutorial, you can get into another, whereas lectures and practicals typically offer fewer options. So when you're done adding your courses, click on View Timetable Plan to see how your schedule looks. Any time conflicts will show up in dark red, and I don't have any here, which is good. Keep in mind that any asynchronous courses won't show up on this calendar here because they're not happening at a specific time. But if you scroll to the top, you will see which ones are asynchronous and how many hours per week you're typically expected to spend on those. Go ahead and click print and then click save as PDF so that you can keep this plan. Since this is just a planning tool, using this website doesn't mean you're enrolled into your courses. So make sure to add these courses and times to your enrollment card on Acorn. We also have a tutorial on that. I hope you found this helpful and good luck with your first semester.